Good morning, Patriots! Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. Let's go to Aiden to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history, on March 3rd, 1845, Florida became the 27th state in the U.S. People arrived in Florida over 12,000 years ago. Since the sea level was lower back then, Florida was twice the size than it is now. It took about four decades under British rule and as a U.S. territory for Florida to become the 27th state. The U.S. President John Tyler signed the admission bill, which allowed Florida to become the 27th state. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Aiden. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. A steeplechaser had a physique that helped them with their stamina while running. One part of the physique to, is to have a low body fat. Most of steeplechaser's training happens outdoors. For example, Sufyan El Bakali runs on mountains to do his training. Another part of the, of the physique is to have strong quadriceps and hamstrings. That way, steeplechasers can control the amount of force when they land on the floor. Now let's go to Yo's Donnie to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is meatballs, french fries, orange juice, and milk. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Yostani. Patriots, the Scholastic Book Fair is going on now. It will run until March 7th. The book fair is virtual this time around. Ask your parents to join you in supporting our school by picking out some awesome books online today. To visit the book fair, just click on the link in the description below. And scholars, March Madness begins today and runs until March 12th. We are pitting class against class in an epic iReady showdown. Complete as many iReady lessons as possible to keep your class in the top spot. Keep track of your class status by viewing the tournament leaderboard on the wall outside of the cafeteria. The incentive will be pizza and ice cream for the winning class. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. Looks like the sun is shining like an angel. Now let's go to Simon for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Why did the lion spit out the clown? Because he tasted funny. Now let's go to Simon for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was hilarious. Today's birthday boys and girls are Najib Abigada, Michaela Grayson, Agent Segreto, and Nicholas Melkor. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations. It represents Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Newton, Ms. Samuel, and Ms. Stratt. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle what, which was, a man looks at a painting in a museum and says, brothers and sisters, I have none, but that man's father is my father's son. Who is in the painting? The correct answer to this riddle was, the man's son. Now for today's riddle. What does a man love more than life hates more than death or mortal strife, that which contented men desire, the poor have, the rich require, the miser spends, the spendthrift saves, and all men carry to their graves. Again, what does a man love more than life, hate more than death or mortal strife, that which contented men desire, the poor have, the rich require, the miser spends, the spendthrift saves, and all men carry to their graves. Teachers. Please send your answers to pinesoutrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.